Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And again, thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do it without you guys' support over on Patreon. No, we could not. We, we very much appreciate it. No, absolutely. Patreon pays the bills. It literally does. Uh, everybody understands that. And now the world's starting to understand uh, the sun is wakening up uh, to a huge degree. The world told to brace for severe G4 geomagnetic solar storm, first in nearly 20 years. Could obviously disrupt GPS satellites, power grids. I mean, everybody's kind of like hanging on tight. And, you know, this affects everybody in a unique way. Uh, I've, I've, I don't usually get headaches, and yet I've had a headache for, oh, gosh, like 30 hours now, and it's, it's not going away. But I, I just don't take anything for it. That's me, because I'd rather work through it. Um, and Cindy actually got relief from her headache by putting a little peppermint essential oil on her forehead, and that I will do. Yes, I mean, and that works. I mean, it's a trick I learned when I used to have <clears throat> migraines. It, it works really well. So the Earth's going to be hit by a very large, what they call a cannibal CME. It's when one catches up to the other and becomes a bigger one. Um, the thing is, though, we have out now at this point in time six blasts. Six. Hello. Uh, you know, they've been showing up with more power than expected time after time occasionally the other way but for the most part if if they're expecting a kp index of of eight and you know who knows what's gonna really happen in these times here you have a young gentleman landon moeller plotting protons on a linear scale reveals the classic exponential rise that occurs prior to cmes uh, expecting impact shortly. Yes, again, could happen at any point in time at the, uh, as you're watching this video. You know, as you can see here, if you look over here to the right, X 3.9. So we did have a bigger one. It felt like there was going to be a bigger one. We did have a bigger one. Wouldn't really be surprised in the least if there's one that, that goes significantly higher than that. And it will be coming at some point in time. That's that's definite. So we have six of these X class in, in the last, you know, right here you're looking at in the last 48 hours, you have four. Uh, there was a lot more prior to that. And, you know, AR3664 is starting to uh, turn a little bit away from us. But it will be back again and what's going to look like when it does come back around again. So even at this point in time, you're still looking at a 60% chance of another X-Class flare. Uh, six, do I hear seven? Do, <laughs> it could very well be. And so this is the largest solar flare yet produced by AR3664, just observed at 654 UTC. And it is associated with type 2 radio emission. And, you know, just hang on tight, guys. Hang on tight. I know, I know. I mean, it's it's uh, not just us having headaches. So many other people who are sensitive having headaches too. And there's probably a plethora of people out there who are not really awake, but they are having headaches. And this could be like triggering them to to be turned on, to help them remember. Um, so I, I think this is creating such a huge, huge awakening in so many ways which is a blessing because the more of us that are awake the more we have that control to shift consciousness now my concern is is that uh, you know they they could do something to our atmosphere like trigger something to make all of our devices go black and then just blame it on the sun so we are thinking about that keeping that um, I, I don't think that the sun and earth would do that where everything would go kapoof, 
But I do believe our control system, they watch these things and they say, oh, this might be very advantageous to um, just do something like this. We'll blame it on the sun. And yeah, then we'll send these emergency workers in and, and yeah, rebuild everything. So uh, there's a little bit of concern for that. Uh, mostly my concern is for people, to, they need to take care of their bodies. You need to drink lots of water. You need to get plenty of rest. And I really mean it. This is difficult on the body to raise up in vibration and change change your vibration and heal I, it takes a lot out of us you wouldn't think so because you can't really see it but i see it <laughs> i'm telling you guys we are working hard right now make sure you rest mm -hmm. and at the moment the kp is just a hair over two so it's staying low at the moment but we will see that rise that's that's definite so coronal mass ejections heading our way uh, and then what I'm watching over here is I'm watching this this number of quakes in 24 hours decrease, which actually makes me more cautious and because it's energy that's building. And so when you see it go down as far as, you know, the number in 24 hours being reported by the USGS, under 200 is, is pretty calm. And that starts to feel like, uh, a pregnant pause at a certain point in time as the regular release of energy is is really what we want to see so you know right now <clears throat> 199 um yeah it to me it's like watching the tide go out at the beach you know and when you see things uh get very quiet then that's when you want to make sure there's not like a tsunami coming. And I'm not saying there's a tsunami coming at this moment. Um, but at the same time, you know, a lot of people have had the visions. They, they've they had warnings. And, you know, uh, one person was sharing their story. On, I forget if it was either Patreon or if it was on YouTube. And just saying how they were led to Southern uh, California and then did a quick about turn at a certain point they got a message from higher self and higher self said to get out and they ended up breaking their lease and 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 getting um out of the area um so when we look at what's going on now you see one off the coast of um san diego at 2.7 this let's see is ridgecrest this is right on the base <clears throat> And, uh, you know, you have some quakes over here, which, again, could be tied into military activity, 4.9, 2.6, as far as the depth. And uh, when the big one went in Ridgecrest, Cindy and I were right here in the desert. Uh, and, boy, it felt like there was four Bigfoot playing ping pong with the trailer. You know, here is an article from NBC saying medical freedom versus public health. Should fluoride be in our drinking water? Misinformation campaigns increasingly target the cavity fighting mineral. Misinformation in my cornholio. Uh, yeah, you know, this is the same and this is what we've shown. Do you realize what the mainstream medical has done over the years? All the things they've said are just fine for you and, and, and wonderful, and they gave you their stamp of approval, and then it's turned out that they were completely wrong time after time. Wrong, or, you know, again, are they just hiding the reality uh, because they are really not about public health, but they're about maintaining a certain status quo on the planet? Namely, uh, going back to those uh, texts like the Enuma Elish and, you know, the Enki's World Order and all these other Sumerian stories that talk about, you know, maintaining uh, the human slave population at a certain level and don't let them get too, too noisy down there. Things like full frontal lobotomies, again, uh, drinking radiated water. Um, you know, we've talked about the, the leeches being used. It, all these things were part of the medical system. You know, the fluoride is just another big reveal that it, it doesn't really do anything for your teeth when you come down to it. My teeth were sensitive all the time when I was using regular toothpaste like everybody else. 
And then when I stopped and started to make my own toothpaste just out of essential oils, baking soda, coconut oil, no more cavities. Well, I really haven't had a cavity since I was like 10. Um, but no, no cavities and no sensitivity at all. You know, we use things like clove and clove oil. Um, we use uh, tea tree oil and peppermint oil in the toothpaste themselves and and we'll put clove in there from time to time too and and it's it's cheap and it's not going to harm you in any way there are so many ways to do things in a healthy safe way that's not going to cause any sort of ulterior um problems later on and this is what the medical system does they give you something that causes problems later on and then they just you know, well, oh, well, we, we admitted that. Yeah, it was 50 years after you first introduced it. 50 years, you know, things are affecting people in a negative way. And then they'll kind of admit, oh, yeah, well, you know, that, that sweetener really did cause problems, didn't it? It really did cause cancer. You know, it's it's part of the Great Awakening. We have to realize this. Dentists are enraged. <laughs> You know, there's an awful lot of people in this world that, you know, I guess it's just time to say um, bleep, bleep to a lot of the system. And because the system is not looking out for us. This is what the NAZIS has did to keep people's cognitive abilities down. Two NASCAR brothers dead. 54-year-old died suddenly. And, and the brother died also within months. Entire families are being wiped out. And doctors are irritated. Dentists are irritated because people don't want to rinse with fluoride. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're not going to shed tears over, you know, their inability to pay their bills. No, no. I, I mean, it, it's really, really sad, you know, speaking of the the fluoride and the dentists um people people need dentists sometimes you just have to go and it's really difficult if you go into a dentist's office you know what you know and you're gonna what try to convince the dentist that you know you don't want that stuff in your mouth i mean he's probably gonna come back at you pretty strong like he's the almighty authority so then you're in this dentist office in the dentist chair you're reliant on what he is going to do to you or what he needs to do to you are you going to argue with him you know what what are you going to do i i think it, it would be a good idea to have people kind of think of that think about that conversation before you go into your dentist so that you are on firm ground um, it's really a huge disruptor in, in the endocrine system. I mean, it's it's a mess, but come with your bullet points. Go with your bullet points and say, hey, you know, I don't want this stuff, and this is why. Because I've, I've been in a dentist's office chair before, and they can be really overpowering with their so-called knowledge and especially their belief system because, you know, it's it's their pride, it's their joy, it's what they went to school for, it's what they studied for. So, I mean, they really come off as pretty strong and arrogant, all-knowing. So you want to be ready for that. That's just, I, I want to tell people that when you go to a dentist's office, I think it's important. But, you know, this world is such a huge, huge mess and it doesn't have to be that way i mean we're looking at stuff here we're going to talk about this i mean ways that energy Which can be harnessed you know uh, there's so much hidden in, in front of us and it the the technologies that have been hidden because we've been reset so many times i came across an article um yesterday uh that i probably should have saved i'll try to dig it up again it was a little blurb from a paper from 1865 and it was talking about the war against uh tartary tartaria and you know the way it spoke about it it's not spoken of in in this world's history the war against tartary tartaria you know you'll have people saying uh it's just, you know, part of greater China, Mongolia, Russia. It's just a section. No, this was different. It, 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 it's obviously different. And, and the system has wiped out everything it can 
uh, part of why we have nonstop wars is because the system is always wiping out the real history and, and then they're just feeding us a bunch of lies. This is what they do. This is talking about how the farther up in the atmosphere you go, the more ether you get, the more um, power is around us. You know, we don't need their systems. We really, really don't. Uh, and people that have put out threats to the system and free energy and stuff have gone missing or had accidents. This is part of the big realization. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that article was talking, it was like from the Freemason Gazette. And it was circulated among uh, Freemasons and literally saying how, you know, they have uh, people in the police forces. They have people in the military forces. Anybody that steps out of line will be uh, handled in one way or another. This is that good old boy system that we were talking about it. Yeah, they own the media. So we know that. And then what they've done with the Internet is they've literally hooked people up to the Internet where... People are giving off, um, you know, frequencies in the grave. It, it, this is the reality. They're in the grave and they're giving off signals. Uh, yeah, you know, this is part of the big reveal. It is, as uh, is said in those Sumerian uh, scriptures. They, you know, we are, uh, in the view of the controllers, they view us as their slaves. They did not create us. They've modified the vehicles, as I was uh, using an analogy, it's like they're taking Ferraris and Lamborghinis, because that's what human bodies can be, and they're turning them all into, uh, you know, let's say Teslas, they're going to blow up on fire. Yeah, instead of the Yugo analogy, or, or you remember the little uh, Chevettes? <laughs> yeah, you want a Lamborghini, you want a Chevette, you know? This is the reality. What they and 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 their handiwork's all over it. The second chromosome fusion, all that DNA that's turned off. Oh, what does this do? What does that do? I don't know. It's inactivated. Yeah, you know. I mean, that should be the telltale sign that something is seriously wrong. And you could tell what these are. We've seen them in Mesoamerica. This is Ecuador. It's on our. Uh, our bucket list when we make our Peruvian trip and we're going to go to uh, Bolivia as well and I'm just hopeful that that's the case that we'll get back to some sort of normalcy where we will be able to move freely and uh, step on some of these areas that have been covered over you know the pages ripped out of the history books new ones stuck in that don't fit this is the reality that people are waking up to so yeah, what's hiding under the grass in Ecuador? Uh, you know, a lot of our history, and and it's 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 definitely the case where those that speak out, you know, we we just really kind of stick out. We're sticking out away from the crowd until everybody starts doing the crazy duck dance, and so come and join us and and be a crazy C O N S piracy theorist too. Uh, you're just going to be ahead of the curve. Yes, bring your own tin foil hat. Yes, absolutely. So look forward to your comments. As always, stay prepared, guys. Much love. There is a creator, and that creator is absolutely all loving. And this is all for you. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.